drop them drawers I know what you want I ask myself, is this shit real? I contemplate about how I feel But you make it way too hard to think Hey baby babies, it's Smokey and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so that you get all my videos once they get uploaded and you do not miss another freaking video. Hey babies. I told y'all I was gonna be dropping some more bangers for y'all and y'all know my story times. My story times are always fucking juicy. So therefore, watch this video all the way through. Cause when I tell you this is some tea, bitch, this is some tea for your ass, okay? Cause half of this shit, I just found out today, like <laughs> today. And it's mind blowing as fuck. So y'all better get y'all popcorn, sit back, relax, and um, enjoy this story time. So as you all may or may not know, I did just move to Las Vegas from California. Um, and when I moved out here, I just um, tried for my job out here. I just tried for my job out here. So I'm still with the same company. I just tried for my job to a different facility, which was out here in Las Vegas. So my main thing when I moved out here, because I know how I am, I'm like, once I go to work, because I work at a warehouse. So once I go to work, I'm not about to be involved with nobody. I've done that. Like, <laughs> I just want to work, handle my business, do what I'm supposed to do. My main purpose of me being out here, take care of my business. It was never for me to talk to nobody, get to know nobody. I didn't want to do none of that. I still don't even know what's going on with my situation over here, right? So I get to my job or whatever. My job, I didn't been at my job for like three days now. I mean, the time of me meeting this person, I didn't been at my job for like three days now, right? Give me one more sec. Okay, so within three days of me working at my job, I didn't make this one nigga. Mind you, it's hella other niggas that didn't try to talk to me prior to me even meeting this nigga, but I already know they only wanted to talk to me because of the ass. Like, yeah, I'm pretty, but they ain't see all that. They just seen the ass when I walked through the door. So this particular person, like, he was cool. Like, when I, when I first started talking to him, we started talking about, I think, my pay or some shit like that because I make more than the other people working at my job or whatever because I got California pay. So we started talking about shit like that. He asked me where I was from. I told him California. Um, I think I asked him where he was from. Yeah, I did because he originally told me Ohio, but he had been in Las Vegas for his whole life pretty much. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, and so... Um, I should have known right there, red flag number one, because you told me you was from, I mean, I guess, whatever. You were born in Ohio, but you're you're rich, you're from Las Vegas. If you didn't been here damn near your whole life, you're from Las Vegas. So, um, yeah, he goes on to say like how he's from Ohio and he's telling me other shit or whatever, whatever, whatever. Just casual conversation, y'all. Like literally casual conversation. I didn't think too much of it. I didn't be like, oh yeah, this nigga want me. He owned me real bad. Like it was none of that. It was like literally casual conversation or whatever. So then after that day or whatever of us talking or whatever, Get in, not even getting to know each other. He was just asking me questions or whatever. I had, th I believe I came in, that's the only reason I met him because I came in on, on an overtime day, a day I usually don't work. Like we don't even work the same days except for one day. I came in on an overtime day and that's how I ended up meeting him or whatever. And so after that one day, I think like the following week he had ended up seeing me again. And so I'm picking, minding my business, cause mind you, I'm not here to hop on no niggas, no bitches, no nothing. Like that was not in the agenda. 
So I'm here, I'm doing my work, whatever, I'm picking or whatever. So he walks past and he's like, hi. Uh, no, he was like, what's up, Callie? And so I turn, I'm like, I'm like, oh, what's up? And so we start talking again or whatever. So we talking or whatever. And um, I think he was about to leave home early that day. And so we was conversating or whatever. And he was like, oh, what you doing here or whatever. And I'm just like, oh, this is my overtime day or whatever. You know, I'm just here, you know, trying to get some extra ends and shit. Because at this point, at this time, I didn't have my place. I was grinding to get my place, you know? So I was working hella overtime or whatever. So he's sitting here talking to me. Mind you, he's supposed to be going home. He's sitting here talking to me. He's just like, yeah. He's like, damn, I don't even want to go home, whatever. I still want to sit here and talk to you. But I'm like, stay there. Like, you're the one leaving early, whatever. But he ended, still ended up going home, whatever. So time goes on and we're still talking, like, just casual at work, whatever. The whole time, I knew that he kind of was feeling me or whatever and he was cool whatever me getting to know him and shit like that and like he was telling me how his mom raised him and he grew up without a father and like how he cherished his mom and like he thinks so highly of his mom one thing about it is i told myself the next person that i date or the next person i get to know i need them to love their mom like <laughs> i need them to have a mom and like stand 10 toes down for her like just, i just feel like men who who cherish their mom and who's who's been raised by a mother and shit like that like they kind of know how to treat women you know and so long story short i had ended up giving him my number or whatever because he was scared to ask me for my number so i ended up giving him my number or whatever i was just like you can use it if you want to you still want to talk to me and whatever whatever no big deal no big no big deal or whatever so we're still talking or whatever we begin to know each other or whatever um then now we're seeing each other outside of work. We're seeing each other outside of work. Yes, baby. So now we're seeing each other outside of work. We're hanging out outside of work or whatever. He lets me know. No, okay, so no. First he told me when I met him, right? He told me like, oh, he got a son. Um, he got a son, it's just him, his son, his sister. Um, I think he said his nieces that live, they live together or whatever. He take care of his son. He's a single father. He makes it seem like he was just a single father and that was that. Another red flag. So, um, like I said, we chilling outside of work and shit like that. And he takes me like to the, the mountain view or whatever view up in Las Vegas or whatever. We looking at the view, we talking, getting to know each other, whatever, whatever. Um, the first time I linked up with him, he, I don't know. The first time I linked up with him, he kind of scared me because he had so many different personalities and that was another red flag that I should have fucking paid attention to. But me being the person that I am, I always like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Why? I don't know why. But I like for people to like just show me who you are, pretty much. I, I give people fair chances. I don't like judge people for, you know, like shit that they've been through or shit like that. I let people dig their own grave pretty much. Okay. So time is going on or whatever. And then another thing about me is when I fuck with one person or I get to start talking to one person and, and getting to know one person, I literally put that one egg in that basket and that's just that. And I'm just so loyal to that one person. And it's just like, why? The old me needs to come back out. So, so like, he lets me know, like, oh, how he was going through shit, like, with his baby mama and shit like that. And, you know, I got my own shit going on, right? So who am I to judge somebody for what the fuck they got going on? So he telling me about the baby mama situation or whatever and how he's fighting custody, um, trying to get, you know, I guess, get his son full time or get his days or whatever, however, however whatever they was going to. I, I wasn't digging too deep in nobody else's business. Cause like I said, I got my own shit going on. Y'all, my clothes is going on. I'm letting it go out. I need a, I need a blunt. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, yeah. So he's telling me about that. Mind you, now he's he's doing the custody shit with with the baby mama or whatever. They're back and forth to 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 court and shit like that. So mind you, I'm taking a nigga to court. Cause he didn't have no. I mean, I don't know if he had a way or not or whatever the case may be, but he wanted me to take him to court. 
So I'm like taking a nigga to court for his son and shit like that. Okay, I see you trying with your baby or whatever. You know, I'm never gonna stop a father from being a father. Like, by all means, do what you gotta do to get your baby. So I'm taking a nigga to court first time, okay? Mind you, I, I take him to court straight off of work. I get off at fucking six o'clock in the morning. He got to be to court at eight o'clock. Mind you, I'm dead ass tired. So you know I like this person. I'm losing sleep. <laughs> Baby, I'm losing sleep, okay? So I take him to court or whatever. And like the shit like that or whatever, like I said, I wasn't getting too deep into to his business or whatever, okay? But the second time he goes to court, he goes to court the second time, whatever. The nigga calls me. I, mind you, I'm waiting outside the courthouse for him. Nigga calls me. He's like, um, do I want to say names? Fuck it. He calls me. He's like, Ashley want to ride back with us. Yes, that's the baby mama's name. Ashley want to ride back with us or whatever. And, um, cause she wants to come pick. I'm not going to say the son's name because. I'm respect everybody kids, but, but the rest of this other shit, all bets off. And it is what it is. So uh, he's like, yeah, um, Ashley wants to come ride with us or whatever to come pick up his son from his house or whatever. Cool. I don't know her. I ain't got no beef with her. She ain't my problem. She ain't my baby mama. So I'm like, all right, cool. So mind you, I'm in the driver's seat. So my first thought, bitch, I'm from Oakland, okay? <laughs> Listen, my first thought is, she ain't finna sit behind me, cause first off, I don't even know who this is. And bitches go ham about their baby daddy. So, you know, and I don't know what he done told her, if I'm his friend, whatever the case may be. At this time, we are friends. So, um, I'm like, I'm thinking in my head, like she ain't finna sit behind me. So, um, I tell him, I said, you gotta drive. So I get out the car, he's like, I want you to meet my baby mama. Very respectful and shit, okay? Very respectful. As he should be. He's like, uh, oh, well, what you doing? Hold on, y'all. So I get out the car. Mind you, I say the bitch ain't sitting behind me. So I get out the car. He's like, I want you to be my baby mama. She put her hand out. I shook her hand. I said, hey, nice to meet you. I get to the passenger seat. Baby, one thing about me, I ain't from Vegas. And I ride around with my gun all the time. So I'm just like, in my mind, I'm thinking some pop off. <laughs> I'm a flatline this bitch. And that, that's just how I feel. So I'm like, she can't sit behind me. I'm going to move to the passenger seat. So I let him drive my car or whatever. Or whatever. It was chill. It was cool. Mind you, when I see the girl, her belly is big. But mind you, he told me that the lady drinks a lot. He told me she drinks a lot. She's an alcoholic, right? So I see her belly and I'm thinking, I don't want to be like, oh, congratulations. Are you pregnant? You know, that's kind of rude sometimes. So I didn't. What's that sign? Fight me. So I don't know if she was for sure pregnant or not. So um, it took a lot of me not to look at her belly, but in my right mind, I knew she was pregnant. And so um, where was I getting at? Oh, so she's sitting in the back seat. She asked him to hit his black. So I'm, I'm like, okay, maybe she's not pregnant because any pregnant bitch ain't finna be smoking no black okay i know i'm not so i'm like okay maybe she's not pregnant maybe she's just fat or whatever so i let it die down or whatever mind you my fave if y'all know her y'all know i tell her everything so i call my fave later on this night because it's like it's like heavy on my heart i'm like i wonder if that's his baby like i wonder if she's pregnant so i tell my fave i'm like i tell her what went down or whatever i'm like i don't know i i don't know if that's his baby i don't want to assume or whatever i said but I'm going to ask him about it. So one day, we sit in the car. Mind you, we chopping it up. We just having like a casual conversation, whatever, whatever. And he said something about her having having a nurse to have another baby or some shit like that. I said, oh, so she, she having another baby or whatever. And he like, yeah. I said, oh. So I throw it in there and I'm like, oh, so 
y'all having another baby? And he's like, oh, um, I guess. What do you mean you guess? And he's like, well, she say it ain't my baby. Um, but then she say it is my baby, so I don't know. I, I leave it at that. Mind you, I'm new to this situation, but this is something that you tell a person that's coming into this situation. So I'm like, I can't be mad even if, you know, this is his baby because I'm new to this situation. This baby happened before I even came along. So I, who am I to be mad? But I'm mad at the fact that you ain't even tell me that you possibly got a baby. That was another red flag. But again, me being the dumbass, I continued to talk to him. So um, fast forward to one day he, he was at his brother's house and he's drinking and he drops his phone and he breaks the screen or whatever. By this time, I like dude. He's cool. He's very, I give that to him. He's very intelligent. He's very smart. And he was just cool. Like he, he had good conversations, although he had a lot of red flags and he just had a lot of shit going on. But it was like too late because I was already talking to him and he was cool and I liked it on whatever. So yeah, he drops his phone. Mind you, I have two phones. So I said, here, you take my other phone or whatever, you know, just so that you can get in contact with your lawyers and shit like that for your son. And of course, because I want to talk to you, now you ain't even got no fucking screen, no phone or whatever. So take my phone. So as time goes on, we're talking, but I noticed like when we're talking, like it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And then it's like, we work together this one day and um, it's just getting becoming a little dry. It's becoming a little dry. And I, I keep asking him like, are you into me? Like, what, what's up? Like, I'm a blunt person. And if you ain't into me, say that shit. Don't string me along, say that shit, nigga. Keep that shit 100. Stand 10, 10 toes down on how you feel. Like it is what it is. Like I can take rejection. So he's like, no, you cool, woo -woo. I like you, woo -woo. like he, he getting into the situation of my husband and mind you, he knows all this. I kept, I laid everything flat out on the table. What's my, what baby? Hmm? You want to fight? You want to fight? Say hi. Come here. Okay. Say hi. You got to say hi to the camera. Hi. Mm. What do you need? You want snack? You want snack? Okay, mommy, you snack. Are you gonna leave me alone when I need snack? Huh? Um, what? Yes or no? Yes, okay. Here, eat snack. Here, take it. There you go. Okay. Go watch TV. All right, see you later. Yeah, so, um, where the fuck was I at, y'all? So yeah, I let him take my phone or whatever, and shit is just getting shorter and shorter. So I started like noticing like, damn, maybe he's not into me. Then he tried to tell me that I, I was, what do you say, I was dull. So I'm like, what you mean like dull? You ain't interested in me say that. But you still, he still continued to talk to me and like lead me on and be like how he liked me and I'm cool, whatever. And then like we got into the situation of my husband and like he was trying to insert himself into like into us being a thing. So then I noticed that like he would flip flop and then he would be like, oh, I'm not looking for my relationship or I'm not looking for this and I'm not looking for that. But in the same breath, he'll be like, Oh, so what you gonna do with that situation? You gonna have to handle that and da 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 because I don't be messing with no married woman and all this and all that. And so I'm just like, oh, okay. So one day it came about, I had texts. Mind you, he got my other phone. I texted him and I'm like, I forgot, we, we, we got into it about something. We started talking about something and I was just like, I feel like you only hit me when you need me to do something for you, whether it's, Oh, uh, can you call me an Uber and I'm gonna give you your money back or da 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 da? It's always for his needs or whatever. 
What you need? Oh, you need some? Yeah? Okay. Here. And so, I guess he got, uh, you wanna take that one too? Okay. Fat ass. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I let him know like it was it was all for your needs and it was just like he felt like I said that he was using me. And I didn't mean it like as if you were using me, but in the same breath it was like, is that what it's giving? You know? And so after that, after I said that or whatever, he tried, I guess that was his like his his escape go on his way out or whatever. So um he still had my phone or whatever, and then at this at this time, now he didn't got fired from the job. Backtrack, let's backtrack, let's backtrack because it's another person that gets inserted into this, right? So one day we're at work and um, I tell him like, oh, whoop de whoop is training me today. And he like, <laughs> for real? I'm like, yeah, she's supposed to be training me today. Oh uh, yeah, that bitch on my dick and da da da. She just talked too much and da da. Like just going off at the mouth about the bitch and how she talked too much and how she be on his dick and all this and all that. Oh, it's funny now that I I talk to you and everybody see me talking to you now. Uh, now all the bitches want to be up on me. I ain't think too much of it, okay? Because I don't, I don't too much care. So I'm just like, oh, okay, it is what it is. Like, you know, mind y'all. Remember, remember whoop de whoop. We just gonna call it whoop de whoop. Remember whoop de whoop. Okay, and how he, he disses her and try to say how she's on his dick and whatever. But mind you, let's backtrack again. One day I come to his station or whatever and whoop de whoop standing there. And so I get over there, mind you, I'm, I'm like flirting with him or whatever. And so she sees me and she walks off. And it was just like a weird vibe, like a weird vibe walk off. And I was just like, hmm, okay, whatever. But that's before he had told me that she was trying to fuck with him. So now let's fast forward back. Now he's fired from our job. He's not working there, right? Yet he still has my phone, but now we're we're like not even talking no more like that or whatever. But I still let him keep my phone because I'm he's like, oh, I need it, I got jobs calling me or whatever. And I'm just like, I'm not a fucked up ass bitch. I want everybody to get their money by any means. I'm not stepping on nobody's toes. Get your money. So I'm like, I'm like, it ain't no bad blood. You can keep the phone, whatever, whatever. So I let him keep it for a little while or whatever. So it's time going on. Like I would even text him and, and check on him and be like, oh, how you doing or whatever. Like no, nothing too serious. No, you ate it. Nothing too serious. And he wouldn't even respond back. But you got my phone though. You got my phone and you're not, you're not even, you can't even respond back. No, you're not obligated to answer every text that I text you. But baby, you can, you can say something. And so he tries to make it seem like, oh, I'm just not into phones like that. I'm not a phone person like that. I don't just sit around and be on the phone. I don't just sit around and be on the phone and um, just be socializing on the phone. Which, when I first met him, he really wasn't like no phone person. Like He wasn't like one of them persons, people that just sit around like how we sit around with our phone and our face all day he wasn't like in social media and all that shit like that as far as i know and so um do i gotta hold you huh why do i gotta hold you huh what do you want what you want go get it there's no more muffins my things all gone. Yeah, so I'm just like, he, he's not a phone person, okay, I can understand that, but you can at least text me back one time when I say, hey, good morning, or ask how your day doing, like, he, the nigga just leave me on red and shit, you know? So I finally was just like, my grandfather did get sick or whatever, and I was thinking about going out there to California, so I hit him, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go to California, so I, I need my phone or whatever. So uh, he was stalling me out on giving me my phone or whatever.
my phone. Now, mind y'all, when I go and pick up my baby. phone, the nigga never I brought my, my phone back. out. He had his nephew bring my phone out. You so, ain't smarter than a fifth grader, baby. I've been having I didn't get no thank you yeah, for having my phone for a whole month. I didn't get no... So I appreciate it for you letting me use your phone. No, phone nothing. With. It gave baby, very unappreciative. phone and messages, you got to go to that edit message and delete the rest of that shit. Yeah, because it's still going to be there. So I seen that it's still there. I recovered the messages. So I, I'm going through the messages. I go through the baby mama messages first, right? You got to go. You got to go about this one because now it's going to get juicy. I go through the baby mama messages. The nigga crying through the messages. Begging, talking about, oh, I want my family back. Um, I love you. I love you. I love you. He telling the... My, he didn't speak, one thing I can say, he didn't speak bad about me to the girl. He didn't speak bad about me to the baby mama. But the baby mama like, yeah, um, you got the fat bitch from the baby. Babe, this ass is fat. Yeah, I'm a little chunky, but this ass is fat. Like, don't be no hater. Mind you, the baby mama look like a meth head. Let's go there, okay? The baby mama look like a meth head. So the baby mama, she's like, um... She's like, um, yeah, you got the fat bitch phone still. Bitch, if he didn't have my phone, how would he be even contacting you, baby? So be thankful that I even let him use my phone. She's like, yeah, you got the fat bitch phone, the bitch that you said that was just your friend um, who picked us up um, from the courthouse. Bitch, you got the nerve to be talking shit about me. You ain't even got a whip. You ain't even got a whip to pick up your kid, baby. You ain't got shit to show for. You got four kids. The nigga told me that. You got four kids with no job. And you got the nerve to be talking about a bitch that's helping you and your baby daddy? Okay. So she's like, yeah, um, and she's saying, yeah, you, um, you told me that she was just your friend. At that time, we were just friends. We had always been friends, but um, a little mo started getting insinuated in it, into that just friends, right? So yeah, she's like, um, you're still lying to me. You're telling me that y'all are just friends. Mind you, this man didn't talk so bad about the girl. How she nasty. And all she wanna do is get drunk and fight and drink and she's an alcoholic and she's this and she's that and she's that and she's this. But it's like, I'm not, one thing it is, I'm not for a nigga that's dissing that baby mama's. Like, I don't, I don't get a kick out of that. That don't boost my ego. I just said, I let the man vent. That was it. I ain't put my two cents on it, on how I felt about nothing. I just let the man vent, okay? So, uh, yeah, she's in, in, in text messages. I'm reading it through the text messages, not this phone, but my other phone. I'm reading in the text messages on how he just like, um, I'ma stop all the bullshit. Um, I just want my family back, which is fine. Okay, get your family back, baby. But in the same same breath, you leading all these women on. She's like, yeah, you're a liar. Um, she, he's mind you, you're not a you're not a phone person, but you texting this lady. Morning, noon, night, breakfast, lunch, dinner, like just back to back to back to back to back to back. Mind you, this is the baby mama. We're not gonna get into the other bitch though. This is just the baby mama. So um, he um she's she's in messages and she's like um what else she say? You fucking with all them bitches at the job and you fucking with this other girl and you say you don't like them but you still fucking with them and I know you're a liar and. Um, if you want your family back, actually speak louder than words. And da, 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 da. She just going on and on and on. You know, baby mom, baby daddy shit, or whatever. I expected that. What? 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 So yeah, you know, a typical baby mama, baby daddy shit. 
I had a renewed, the baby mama shit didn't too much surprise me because after the baby situation, after I found out that it was a baby inserted in it, I was like, yeah, I fell back a little bit and it was just like, I already know how this, how this goes. But mind you, in the same breath, he was still telling me like, oh yeah, it's done for, I'm not gonna fuck with her like that. She already knows it's a rat. Whole time you begging this woman. <laughs> Begging, ten toes down on your knees. Mouth will give the woman a ring. You begging this woman on how you want your family back. Open the door for him. Open the door for him. Get him. Close the door. Okay, so I recovered more messages. I'm like, because baby mama said it's more bitches, okay? So I recovered more messages. I see a message with like 558 messages. I said, okay. <laughs> Okay, baby, jackpot. This must be the girl. So I'm going through the phone, right? I'm going through the phone. Damn, you gotta go through 500 and some messages? Okay, I ain't got none of the time, but baby. I'm off today. I got none of the time. So I see the name. <laughs> whoop de whoop. Ain't this the same girl you said that was on your dick? They, they love me. Heaven do the text message, baby. I'm talking about text her every day. On my phone, though. Texting her every day. On my phone. I'm going through the text messages. He like, oh, old girl says she's going back to California. I'm old girl now. Old girl says she's going back to California. She want her phone back. She like, oh, okay give her her phone back or whatever and nobody cared some shit she said like that or whatever and she was like oh that's mighty funny that she just seen me and she spoke to me mind you the girl trained me so i i didn't think too much of it okay this is before i knew about the, the extent of them her trying to be on him or whatever the case may be she trained me and so she like oh that's so when i see her i'd be like oh what's up i thought the deuces out of my head or whatever i keep it pushing it wasn't like oh we was friends or nothing but you know when she see me we we spoke to each other or whatever and kept it pushing i did know that she would start to like look at me weird or she, it should be like stand off and just like just like push on past me or whatever and so uh and so um yeah he like oh whoop -de -whoop. no he said oh girl want her phone back or whatever and so um, through the text message, mind you, mind you, when I talk to him or whatever, and I ask him about his phone, he like, oh, I'm getting my phone on the 21st. Mind you, he been told me he was ordering his phone and that it was on back order. And that the phone was supposed to be and had been coming, okay? And so now she's like, um, all right, give her her phone or whatever. So she sends him a, a, a message, I guess her order in the phone. The baby don't even know she getting played because the man wants to stab me back, okay? <laughs> so, um, She's like, uh, she's like, uh, I'm gonna order you a phone or whatever. So I guess now he's really liking the girl because she ordered him a phone. <laughs> Cause I, I ain't no trick or treat. I don't be tricking on these niggas. That's the one thing I don't be doing. So uh, she um, she sent him a picture like, oh, she she ordered him a phone or whatever. They going through the text messages. I'm talking about talking every day. I'm talking every day. Coming from a man who said he's he not a phone person, he don't even be on the phone like that. They FaceTiming, they calling each other, they texting. Ooh. Mind you, I'm seeing this girl damn near every other day. Whole time she talking to the same nigga that I'm talking to. She throwing up the deuces. I'm throwing up the deuces, but you still talk, you talking to the same nigga that I'm talking to. Okay. So mind you, I, I was, I'm cool with his, his niece or whatever. So I hit his niece, I said niece, I call her Nisi. I said, Nisi, you at work? I mean, no, I said, you at home? She's like, um, she's like, no, nah, um, I'm at work, whatever. I said, all right, relay this message to your uncle. I said, let him know. I read all the messages that he thought he deleted. I said, um, about him wanting his family back. And, oh, he, he didn't have the baby. They had the baby or whatever. Uh, I said, I read all the messages. I said, let him know one thing about it is God don't play about me. When I met you, I was genuine as fuck. I came with pure intentions. I already told you, I ain't here to waste no time. I ain't got time to be wasting. Like, nigga, you two, old, two years older than me. Like, come on now. I ain't got no time to be wasting. I let you know all this from jump. I said, so let him know. I was genuine. So the way he did me was bogus as fuck. 
it was bogus. And in my right, in my in my wrong mind, I was thinking like I should go over there and I should turn the fuck up. But this ain't even my nigga. This ain't even my nigga for me to even turn up like that. But if you would have really officially made it to my nigga and I would have found out all the shit that I done found out today, baby, it would fight me. Okay? Okay? <laughs> it would have been straight up fight me. Because the way he did it, he did me bogus. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I wanted to cry for a minute. He did, he did me grimy. He did, he did me grimy. So, um, Denise had ended up telling him because he called me and he's like, um, hello? I said, who is this? He said, it's TJ. I said, uh, yeah, hey, Mr. TJ. What's up? He like, what's up? I said, yeah, you real bogus. I said, it's crazy how you're not a phone person, but you chopping it up with the next bitch on my phone. I said, what the fuck did I do to you? I said, cause all I can remember is I was genuine to you, my nigga. I said, you approached me. I didn't approach you. You could have left me to smooth the fuck alone. I said, so tell me, what did, what did I do to you? That was so bad for you to have to do me the way you did me. I said, because if you didn't want to fuck with me no more, you could have left it at that. You could have gave me my shit back and you could have moved on with yourself. I said, the baby mama shit, I'm not even too much mad about because I expected that from you when, when I found out that you was having a baby with this lady. I, I knew that shit wasn't done. Like, you know? So he like... Oh, I knew that's why you wanted your phone back. No, bitch, I wanted my phone back because it's my phone and I pay the bill on it and it's my phone and I want my phone back. I ain't gotta tell you why I want my phone back. I want it back. But to find out this whole time that you're chopping it up with a whole nother female at the job where you clearly tell me, oh, I don't fuck with none of these bitches up here. Um, did none of them start liking me until, I, until you came and you started talking to me and da 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 Whole time, you trying to rekindle, you trying to have a whole relationship with this, this young girl. The girl only like 22, 23. You trying to have a whole relationship with this girl, with this baby. This girl don't even know that you begging your baby mama back the same day that you talking about I want to see you. Now, I'd be real fucked up if I would've went to the job and I, I tell her like, baby, look, <laughs> I ain't even gonna do that though. I'ma let everybody find out what they what they need to find out and let everybody look stupid on how, how I was sitting there looking stupid at the job, okay? Cause in the same breath, you telling this baby that you want a relationship with her or you wanna work on y'all or whatever the case may be, you texting your baby mama how you want your family back? How you on your way? Baby, my sister told me, don't mess with these Vegas people. She told me, now look at me, want to give people the benefit of the fucking doubt. And let them insert me into their motherfucking drama, baby. I learned my lesson, I'm all right. I'm all right with these Vegas people. Yeah, y'all, so that, that was the story time. Yeah, he played me. He played me for a good two months or whatever or whatnot. Now he over here playing with this baby. Why he talking about he want his family back? What y'all think? Should I tell her? Should I tell old girl? Or should I just let her look stupid? How I was looking stupid? Cause this girl didn't bought this man a phone and everything. She didn't, she didn't order the note, a new phone for the nigga and everything, y'all. That's crazy. Let me know in the comments down. Let me know. Comment down below if I should go to work and tell her. Baby, because I got all the messages, baby. You can read the messages. Should I tell her? The man want his family back while he, he playing over here in your face, while he was playing in my face. He want his family back in real life. So what y'all think? Y'all let me know. But until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. And make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so that you get. Okay. Make sure you want to do the closing out too. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so that you get all the videos once they get uploaded. And you do not miss another freaking video. 
Bye, guys. <laughs>